Halloween's just around the corner. That means spooks, tricks, treats, beautiful fall leaves, pumpkins. It also means election day. And while we're not a local show, I felt it was very important to meet with someone who's running for city council here in Boulder who's very pro-cycling. Andrew Shoemaker was instrumental in bringing the U.S. Pro Challenge to our community, but he's also very community-oriented, not just cycling. But I feel that it's important that we speak with someone where the two go together. Andrew Shoemaker, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for having me. We talked a little bit on our podcast about uh, green and bicycle racing. Um, there was a bit of a conflict there when you were bringing the Pro Challenge to our community. Why was that? That was just something I could never understand. Well, it's, it's I mean, Flagstaff Mountain, which was where the, the stage finished, is, is iconic for, for cycling, but it's also very iconic for the Boulder community and, and it's symbolic of our open space program. And while we, our, our goal was to highlight that open space program and show the world that open space um, can be a good thing for a city and maybe other cities should do it as well, there were uh, folks in the community that were concerned that we might somehow harm it. Uh, so we did take every precaution we could. We were proactive, did things that no other uh, bike race has done before. We put wristbands on people. We made people uh, agree to, uh, to uh, honor the, uh, the open space and environmental rules and we even brought in a fellow who's, who has since been appointed by President Obama to be the head of the uh, Western region for the EPA. So we, I mean, we took every precaution possible and there was no, no damage to the open space, but it, it was definitely controversial and for, frankly remains so today uh, because of some concerns that, uh, that uh, there could be damage in the future. What do you feel are the biggest concerns to the community right now? Well, uh, our housing issue is, is, a, is a huge one. Boulder is, it is an extremely expensive place to live. It takes uh, 2.7 wage earners at minimum wage to rent a two-bedroom in Boulder County. Uh, so as a result, I mean, when you start doing the math, you realize that you know, two working parents at minimum wage can't, can't do it here. So as a result, people live outside of the town and 60,000 people drive into Boulder every day. That's a huge environmental problem and it's a social problem because we lose uh, a certain uh, income um, group uh, out of the city uh, for, um, you know, for, and, and that's problematic for a number of reasons. Now we are a sports show. Uh, I feel like some cyclists really stepped up recently with Cyclists for Jamestown. They raised over $100,000 for the community. Uh, how do you feel that sports is going to evolve here or continue with the devastation that happened up in the mountains? I mean, it really took away a lot of riding, which sounds very selfish, um, but that is a big part of Boulder. It is, and, and I think people are realizing here that, that you, you can't take everything for granted. I mean, even, even a, a road can be closed, and certainly the mountain bikers realize that access can be limited. Um, and, but Boulder's resilient, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll find ways, and it'll be better than before. The other thing that, that really struck me, you know, with the fact that the cyclists are raising money, it goes to show how important cyclists is, are to our community. I mean, that is a, it is a, it's a community-building uh, uh, thing that we all have in common and the fact that you could you could raise that much money by bringing cyclists together shows a how many cyclists there are in Boulder uh, and how uh, and B how dedicated they are and how they can become an important part of this community um, and and have a voice through through raising money and should have a voice politically Andrew Shoemaker thanks very much for joining us here on on the rivet TV thank you